Hello everybody, I'm Ruchi, CEO of Stemnoid Limited. I'll start today's webinar in G.B. Shaw's words. Imagination is the beginning of creation. Tissue engineering is an area that drives creativity from nature. Creativity drives innovation. Stemnoid, Qkine, and Cytosmart are three innovative companies that have come together to benefit the broader scientific community through this webinar. Understand challenges and opportunities around tissue engineering, especially organoids, and provide innovative solutions. Stimnovit is at the heart of Cambridge, a city you will find most creative people in the United Kingdom who have come from around the world. Stemnovit integrates stem cell research, molecular biology, and engineering to provide smart solutions for research and development for drug discovery and diagnostics. This is important as the chance of success of a compound entering first phase of clinical trial is less than 10%. 90% failure rate is hard to ignore. There is also an untold story of scientific hard work going to a waste because of unproductive methods and millions of animal sacrifices. In 2019, the numbers in UK counted to be 3.4 million. This decade will be remembered for several scientific advancements, among them cellular reprogramming, high content imaging and tissue engineering. The year 2013 marked organoids as breakthrough of the year. Memorable years for me actively working for my PhD, getting hands-on experience almost all these techniques. Since then, organoids have been reported for brain, liver, kidney, lungs, intestines and many more. It remains an exciting field with high stakes, hope, potential and among this, some skepticism for industrial translation and clinical benefits. Tissue engineering is an approach to recreate tissues outside the body. Study physiological features, interactions, and use this for developing solutions for injuries, therapies, and toxicology studies. Broadly speaking, there are three main categories. Organotypic, popular for tissues that have stratified layered structures like skin. It is also used for cancer studies. The main features are a skip fold that can be natural, hydrogels or synthetic material and seeding cells on top so that they organize as in the tissue. But this is a resource and skill intensive method. Organoids on the other hand are formed by self-organization of pluripotent stem cells and the techniques involve microfluidics, hanging drop or simply leaving them to organize under low attachment. Organ on a chip is an emerging field to improve cellular methods with microfluidics and integration of microelectrode mechanical systems for harvesting real-time data. Organoids are derived from stem cells. There are two types embryonic stem cells and induced pluripotent stem cells. The common properties are self-renewable and ability to make several other cell types. Induced pluripotent stem cells are generated from screen or blood cells by adding on genes that are expressed in the early stages of human development. At Stemnovate, we have a biobank of iPSCs and a compliant process that includes informed consent and regulatory licenses. The selection criteria for the stable lines is stringent as an industrial production process and includes whole genome transcriptomics. The iPSCs are cultured under defined serum-free conditions and through well-defined protocols directly differentiated to brain cells, heart cells, and liver cells, among others. Here is a short video for glimpses of technology in action. You can see 
skin cells proliferating on being scratched. These on induction with genes express the markers that are found in the early stages of development only, such as Nanog TRA160. These are directed to form different cells such as heart cells that express the key cardiac markers and with that show beating behavior. We differentiate iPSEs to neurons for modeling neurodegenerative diseases. The cells show key neuronal subtype markers and form neurites and we further look into electrophysiological behavior. For liver, iPSEs on being directed show staged marker expression from definitive endoderm to functional hexagonal morphology, ecoderent expression, and with that expression of key drug metabolizing enzymes such as cytochrome P450s. The iPSEs have all genotype information for these very important drug metabolizing enzyme. This is unique feature of staminovate iPSEs. Coming back to organoids. Cells in conventional two-dimensional culture systems show a different morphology and behavior as compared to cells cultured in a 3D uh, method. These express adherent proteins and are also convenient for imaging or synchronizing for growth profiling. It is convenient to image them, uh, antibody staining, or even electrophysiology, as you can see in this picture. This is an example for patch clamping, where you can see the neurons um, expressing action potential represented through the spikes and the inhibition of this by addition of tetrodoxin, which is a neurotoxin um, derived from puffer fish. Organoids or the neurospheres show remarkable organization. Here is an example, um, the neurosphere expressing the microtubule associated protein, which is important for neurogenesis. But it took several hours to get an image and understand the properties. Uh, one may need confocal microscopy, Z-stacking, that is imaging in thin slices and putting all this information together and recreating the image or maybe using the traditional sectioning methodologies, which is anyway very time consuming with multi-step procedures. Therefore, the challenge lies in complexity. Organoids are complex enough to study by our traditional methods of imaging and measurement, yet not complex enough to simulate the tissue function for replacing primary cells for industrial or clinical use. The picture is worth a thousand words, but real-time imaging gives you an experience. The cells are more dynamic than we think, and it requires real innovation to tap this potential. Innovation into growth factors, culture materials, formats, imaging, and measurement. Organoids are promising models to study human cellular physiology, disease modeling, and toxicity. But they are not perfect, and that's where the opportunity lies to think differently. Stemnovate focus is on industrial translation. We actively work with academia and industry. Our liver platform is a perfect example. Stemnovate's co-founder is Professor David Hay. He is chair of tissue engineering in Edinburgh, his lab has over 100 publications in liver stem cell field as they work through fundamentals of science and find industry suitable methods. Stemnovate focus is on microengineering to allow reproducibility, innovation to study better primary drug metabolizing enzymes, receptors, and transmitters, with a bank of human cell lines representing different genders, ages, and ethnicities. Applications include fatty liver disease, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, drug-induced liver injury, vaccination development, hepatitis, and cancers. Recently, David's lab published on automation of spheroid process for liver research. Stemnovate is thinking out of box for multicellular modeling, vascularization, and real-time measurement 
And for that, we have an innovative lever on chip platform. Summarizing our research has to be application oriented to avoid being lost in translation. Industry and academia has to work in tandem. I've been working with Catherine uh, for over a year now and I appreciate QKind's motivation to bring good growth factors to ensure reproducibility. smart to smart is bridging gap for real-time imaging. Stemnovate with integrated approach is bringing world, world experts together from top UK and European Union institutions, including Cambridge, Edinburgh, and others from Ireland, um, from European Space Agency, National Physical Laboratory. And we are reaching out to the global scientific community. So our challenges lie in finding the best culture conditions developing ways of multicellular modeling, better data visualization, um, and finding the best cost benefit balance. And the opportunity lies in innovation, using microfluidics, uh, better matrix and material combinations, improving imaging, integrating machine learning and microelectronics. And with that, changing the unproductive assays with a better industrial process. And for that, innovation is the only way forward. And I will finish off today's webinar with Pablo Picasso's quote, everything you can imagine is real. Feel free to contact me at my email address or you can visit our website and keep yourself updated with all the new projects and research um, that we are involved in. Thank you.